is in review of January the 13th, and I ask you to view these as paintings like I do. It's daybreak, and already the prostitutes are on the street. Attic are searching the corners with a furrow glint. An obese woman winded from a few steps. She passes an anxious man scavenging in a garbage can. A jester to winos in a field of pigeons. The summer sky is laden with obscure clouds. The knowledge of nature is all around us. But sometimes the weight of our poor habits and our bad circumstances, our lack of exposure to philosophy hampers us. Although every person should be equally valued as a human being, not every person is equally as sensitive to the knowledge of nature. Ignorance is our predominant mode of life. We may pass through ghettos and consider ourselves more fortunate, but don't we all have dense layers of confusion and misfortune and selfishness to overcome? Confusion and selfishness to dissolve. The knowledge of nature can be known by progressive purification and self-cultivation. However, the opposite is also true. Ignorance can be compounded and made denser until the light of our spirit is smothered. The light of the soul is bright, but human ignorance can. But the dense cloud of human ignorance can obscure it. Cloud of human ignorance can obscure it. Where are you in terms of your effort to make your life brighter? So that was the first half, and this is the second half of the 13th of January. Crimson light through pine shadows, setting sun settling in the ocean. Night flows the setting sun, and day flows the fleeting moon. All too often, we tend to think of absorption as a static thing. Water is absorbed into a sponge, and there it stays. But true absorption is the total evolvement in the evolution of life, without hesitation or contradiction. In nature, there is no alienation; everything belongs. Only human beings hold ourselves aloof from this process. We have our civilizations, our personal plans, and our own petty emotions. We divorce ourselves from process, even as we yearn for love, companionship, understanding, and communication. We constantly defeat ourselves by questioning. And asserting ourselves at the wrong moment, we sometimes let hatred and pride and ego cloud our perception. All alienation is self-generated, and in the meantime, all of nature continues its constant flow. We need to let ourselves go and enter freely into the process of nature. We need to just become absorbed in it. If we integrate ourselves with this process, we will find success. Then the sequence of things will be evident as the coming of the sun, as the coming of the sun and the moon. Everything will be just as it should be. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.